Want to get back out to Brian Sanders at East High School this morning. Of course, the site of a shooting in March where two deans mm -hmm. were shot. And of course, East High School, really the reason that so many changes are happening throughout the district this year, Brian. Yes, and the hope certainly is for a smooth start to this school year and a, a fresh start for everyone really after that tense and unsettling into the spring semester of last year. Uh, a year that was overshadowed by youth violence, specifically here at East High School, where, uh, as you mentioned, there were uh, two shootings involving students near campus. One fatally, the death of 16 year old Luis Garcia, a soccer player here, really shook the community. And then toward the end of the school year in March, when as part of a weapon search, a student shot and injured two deans here and the student later took his own life, but it led to a very heated response from then Mayor Michael Hancock, Denver Police Chief Ron Thomas and parents and the school board all getting involved in discussions over campus safety and whether or not to bring SROs back to campus, which they did for the remainder of the school year last year. It was far from the only controversy, but maybe the most prominent one. So after several meetings to discuss a district wide safety policy, they ultimately decided to bring SROs back to these 13 campuses, all high schools who will each have one except for East High School, which will have two. It is the largest school in the district with an enrollment of about 2,500 students. And so all of these SROs have gone through 40 hours of basic training, which is required by the state. Uh, the final safety plan was approved in July, and now the district is working on a memo of understanding, an MOU, with the new mayor administration in Mike Johnston and Police Chief Ron Thomas on uh, how this partnership will work going forward. I did have a chance to ask Superintendent Alex Marrero about the transition plan and how that will look with students and parents. Is there a plan to reintroduce SROs on campus formally, let the kids know this is the face that will be roaming the halls or do they just kind of start building those relationships organically great 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 question i think in terms of the most immediately it'll happen organically however when it comes to our mou we're defining those terms in terms of how to engage and aside from how they engage with our youngsters in terms of our community so community you'll have a you'll have a say in terms of the permanent placement or if there is uh, a vacancy that needs to be filled um, it's no longer going to be okay hey dpd who do you have send them on over no, this is going to be an intimate, collaborative uh, decision-making process. And Dr. Marrero also talked about the use of an isolation room that was being uh, misused for discipline at McAuliffe International. He says he is waiting on official results of the investigation uh, before uh, he determines how to move forward there, but did emphasize the need for better de-escalation techniques and more productive counseling on mental health. He is a former uh, counselor himself.